In today's video, we're going to talk about how to break out of a funk so that you can lose weight. So back in 2014, I was obese and I was in a funk. And I've definitely noticed that when I, when I look back on my life, generally speaking, when I've been at my heaviest has also been the times when I've been in the biggest funk. So I don't know if, if it's, you know, which one causes which, but what I have learned is that breaking out of the funk is important in order to lose weight. Because the thing about weight loss is, is that it takes effort. It takes being motivated to take those steps day in and day out in order to lose weight. You know, like things like sticking to your plan. And, you know, if you've got exercise as part of that to get out and, and go do the exercise and even just taking those actions, like weighing yourself and tracking your weight, all of that takes motivation. You have to feel like doing it in order to do it. And if you are in a funk, it's just almost impossible to do those things. So what my funk looked like, just to give you an idea of where I'm coming from, uh, you know, I, back in 2014, would sleep a lot. Uh, I would, you know, sleep a lot at night, but then even when I woke up, I just didn't feel like I had slept. I felt really tired all the time. And a lot of times I would wake up and then I, I would just go back to sleep later. I would get out of bed for a little while and then I would just go back to bed. Um, and like I said, I just never really felt rested. And also there were just days where I didn't shower and I didn't shave my legs, just kind of do, not doing those things that you should do as a part of just taking care of yourself, personal hygiene. And I just kind of had this blah feeling just every day. It was just kind of blah. And by the end of most days, I would kind of look back on the day and think like, what did I do all day? I mean, I did have small kids. I was taking care of them, but generally I knew that I was just kind of like letting my days get away from me and not really doing those things that I wanted to do. And so I knew I needed to get out of this vicious cycle that I was in because, you know, what was happening in reality was I was eating for comfort basically. Uh, and then that was making me gain weight which was then leading to more negative emotions, a deeper kind of funk, uh, which was then leading me to want to comfort eat some more. And, you know, then I was gaining more weight. And then, you know, it was just this cycle that was happening. And I had to figure out how to break out of that. But again, it's really difficult to do that when you don't feel like it. But a major thing that helped me was to realize that I was in charge of my emotions. And that was a belief I had to change because before that, I really kind of thought, well, however I feel, that's just how I feel. And so how can I, you know, change that? Uh, but what I realized was you actually do have a good bit of control over your mood if you choose to take those actions. And so there were several practical things that I started to do that helped me break out of my funk. The first one that really helped me was using music to help put me into a better mood. And I just, I got this tip from some article I read. I was Googling like how to put yourself into a better mood. And that was one of the things that it suggested, like actually just listening to music that makes you feel good actually does put you in a, a, a better mood and it can help you to then, you know, do other things. So I made a playlist on Spotify. I called it Get Happy. And I just put every song on that list that I thought, you know, would, would make me feel better. And I intentionally called it get happy, uh, to remind myself that I was choosing not to wallow anymore, that I wanted to get happier. And having this playlist really helped me to get up and do the things that I wanted to do. You know, I knew about myself, like when I would put on music, I would like do things like clean the house or, you know, I would feel good about, you know, doing some sort of exercise. So what I did was I literally just put that music on whenever there was something that I wanted myself to do, but it was hard to get the motivation, like taking a shower. It might sound weird. Like, like, why do you need motivation to go get a shower? But I, I needed that motivation for whatever reason. So I would put on the playlist. I would put, I would put the music on really loud and that would motivate me to go shower. The next practical thing that I started to do was to practice gratitude. And so I started out in, in concrete ways, just trying to be more grateful for everything around me, you know, for, for my family, for the relationships that I had, the people in my own household, just being grateful that I had the opportunity to share my life with them and doing things like just thanking God for the food that was before me. And I really tried to become grateful for everything, even negative situations, things like uh, my body, my weight, you know, being grateful. I, I, I started just saying, okay, thank you body for, for holding on uh, to this excess weight, because what it really means is that I have been eating 
too much food, which just signals my body that, okay, I need to hang on to this weight so that, you know, in the future, I don't starve, like if I'm in some sort of famine situation. So my body's doing exactly what I ask it to do. So thank you for that. And, and then just learning how to be grateful for this opportunity to learn how to eat the right amount of food so that I can, you know, lose weight. Or, you know, once I got to maintenance, learning how to stay in that zone I wanted to be at. And it is amazing how much that can change your day. You know, if you just make it a point to try to be grateful for everything, uh, it, it, it's amazing how much that can break you out of a funk. The third thing that I did was moving more, just moving more. And actually going back to the first thing I did, which was just listening to music, the music helped me to move more, you know, because it literally, because I was listening to this upbeat music, it would make me kind of dance around. And then I would feel like, you know, moving more just in my life, just, you know, I, I want to get out and go for a walk. I, I felt better. So I was able to move more. And I didn't know it at the time, but there's actually some interesting science behind just forward motion, just literally going out for a walk uh, can make you feel less anxious and less afraid. Uh, there's also another level this works on, which is just if you voluntarily move some, towards something that you're afraid of, you you feel courageous, you, you feel less afraid. Uh, but the same can just be said of just simply walking that forward motion is really helpful. And again, you know, if you if you find yourself eating because you're anxious, uh, if you just get up and walk around, you'll feel less anxious. So it's, it's a neat thing that movement can do just to break you out of a funk. The fourth thing I did was to focus on connection. And the first place I really looked for this was in my own family being more intentional with connecting with my kids, with my spouse, those people that were in my house, you know, putting down my phone, paying attention to what are they actually saying and what are they doing? And, and that closeness actually helped me a lot, uh, because I, I felt better, you know, just being around the people that I loved and, and it deepened relationships. Uh, and when I felt like I was in a deeper relationship, uh, with, with all these people around me, uh, it made my life better. And I, I did feel more motivated, but at the same time, I also found it was helpful to sometimes pick up my phone and connect that way, you know, like texting family and friends, or sometimes even talking on the phone, although that's not my favorite way to communicate or, you know, doing things like video chatting, uh, with, with family out of state, it was really helpful. It, it helped me to feel connected with people. And again, that made me feel, you know, less in a funk and better about my life. I also found prayer was really helpful, just talking to God, connecting with God. The fifth thing I did was to try to get more sunshine in my life. When I was deep in my funk, there were days that would go by where I didn't even set foot outside. And I I kind of felt like this is a problem. Like I, I need to get outside more. And so that's what I did. I just told myself like every day I need to at least get outside, even if it's just for like a second, just, just the setting foot outside that counts. I don't, you know, I'm not going to say you have to be outside for 30 minutes. Just like you just need to at least get outside just for a second. So what I found generally speaking was once I actually like got outside, even if it was like just to go check the mail or whatever, I felt better out there and, and I enjoyed, like it was a relaxing thing. It made me feel better about life. And so over the course of time, I have gotten outside more and more and more and more and more. And I have found generally speaking, uh, my life is better when I spend more time outside. And these days I try especially hard to get outside during the winter time months, which I mean, I live in Florida, so it is a lot easier for me to get outside uh, because it doesn't get too cold here. Uh, but I have found I feel better about life. I tend to have kind of a low mood during the winter time. And so I've tried to become more and more proactive about that, about, you know, taking some steps uh, to, to try to make my mood better even during the winter time months and getting outside for a significant amount of time each day, like doing my walks outside and things like that have really helped. The sixth thing that I've done that I find helpful, and I didn't do this in my initial funk, mainly because I didn't really know about it. Uh, but what, what I know about myself is I have a tendency to, to towards getting in a funk. So I try to prevent it when I can, but if I do find myself slipping into one, I have found cold showers to be really helpful, uh, to get me out of a funk, to, to really help my mood. And there's some really interesting research about how cold water exposure can even lessen the symptoms of depression. According to what I've read, 30 seconds to up to like three minutes is a good amount of time. And what I found for myself to really make this into a habit is that I find it easier to do if I 
if I put it at the end of my shower. So it's really hard for me to like make myself get into a cold shower, but it's actually pretty easy to just turn the, the, the warm water off and, and to put it all the way on cold, uh, once I'm done with the shower and I can just, you know, stand there for like 30 seconds to three minutes, uh, and get my cold exposure that way. It's interesting. It really makes you feel alive. And I found it really does help my mood. So those are the things that I've done that have helped me to both break out of a funk and also just to keep myself out of it. It's interesting to me how it's just little things that you can do that can make that cycle switch to the other way. So, I mean, it's, it's bad when it happens in the reverse, you know, when, when you kind of like do one thing and it kind of sends you on a bad path. But the good news is you can also just do one little good thing, like, you know, listening to some upbeat music or, or connecting with somebody. And then that can set you on the path, uh, that's going to be positive. For example, you know, once I started like listening to music and feeling better, then I was able to get, you know, steps in and, and move more. And then eventually I was able to like start going to the gym and which led to me weighing, which then led me to, you know, practicing intermittent fasting and then, you know, losing the weight and then getting it off and just staying in this positive cycle. But it all comes back down to just taking those little actions, these little things. It doesn't have to be a big change. It can just be one little change that you try one day and, and you kind of just stick with that and, and see how you're feeling and see what works and what doesn't. Because some things, you know, may work for me and they don't work for you and vice versa. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching it and I'll see you in the next one.